Hey there, Leo. Welcome to your reading for the week of April 22nd. We're going to jump right in here. You have this patience card. It says it will require having faith while you're shown the way. You have this card that says your hard work will be rewarded soon. So all your hard work could be paying off. And I think this has come up for you before. A lot of people seem to be getting this like whole, you know, hard work paying off thing coming up in their readings. Uh, it kind of makes sense. I think that people have been working hard, putting a lot of, look, look at this. That looks amazing. But anyway, I think that, you know, people have been putting in hard work into the things that they're working on. And I also think that people have been hoping to find some sort of result or to get a result. Uh, there's definitely a surprise coming in for you. <laughs> I don't know if this is a good surprise or a bad surprise yet. That card says surprise visitor. And then you have the tower right here. So we'll have to see what comes up. But, uh, you know, uh, what I would say is that you know, again, I think your hard work kind of is paying off in this um, reading or that you, you know, your hard work could be paying off soon uh, based off of whatever you've been working on here. So uh, let's see here, Leo. Uh, you have the magician, the strength card, and the sun. So you're coming up in a very strong position. Whenever you show up as yourself, it puts you in a position of power and strength, allows you to get what you want from the reading. But we start with the magician here. And the magician is pointing down uh, to the like five of cups and the three of swords. This row is a little sketchy here. We're going to have to see what comes up when we clarify. Actually, this whole section right here, I would be careful of a past person with the six of cups. And, it, you know, this week it is the end of the retrograde. So, you know, the end of the retrograde is always strongest. And, um, you know, there definitely could be like a person who's trying to mix things up or cause issues or whatever. Um, I kind of feel this could also be encouraging you to go through a healing. Well, again, we'll have to see what comes up. But, you know, I kind of feel this is encouraging you to, you know, heal any past situations. This doesn't mean you have to, you know, talk to a past person or anything like that. It just means that uh, you could be doing things personally, like taking care of yourself, nurturing yourself, um, you know, writing a letter and burning it to an ex or whatever you have to do. I would definitely encourage any of that stuff. The Five of Cups really says that there's so much for you to be grateful for or there are bigger and better things coming in for you, but you have to see it. The other thing is, is I do feel like I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I think there's something you have to push through here. It's like sometimes I think we have to do things, you know, especially going this way to the moon. Uh, sometimes I think that we have to do things that we like don't want to do, but I'm not saying like this is you putting yourself in like a super uncomfortable position or, or something like that. It's more like, you know, sometimes I think that maybe we're scared of success or whatever, and maybe we're afraid to put more work into our business. Or it's like, we know that we need to do things. Like, I, I want to grow my new channel, my Chris Rec channel. I've been wanting to put work into it for like three years, but I still, it's like I do videos every single day. I know how to do videos, but I still don't do videos for that channel, right? It's like, I know I know what to do, but I'm not doing it. <laughs> and that's kind of like the feeling that I get for you here, Leo, is that and, you know, I'm calling myself out and, and I'm calling you out, right? Uh, it's like, I think that there might be something that you know will lead to success, but it's kind of like the, you know, actually doing it is another story, right? You know, actually putting in the practice and, and making something happen is maybe kind of like causing some issues and problems and, you know, stuff like that. I also do feel like you're busy. I do feel that there are you know, are going, you know, I think that there are a lot of things that are going on that are maybe kind of getting in the way as well. Uh, you have the sun here. The sun is also your card. Uh, the sun makes the whole entire reading a little bit more positive. So even though we have that sketchy row there, that third row, uh, you know, it does make the whole entire reading more positive. So I wouldn't worry about it too much. Uh, I also do feel like there is um, more happiness coming in for you with the sun. So let's see. Uh, with the Magician, you have the Eight of Wands here. I definitely would watch your words. I'm pretty sure the past like six readings that I've done for you have all said watch your words. A uh, Magician with the Eight of Wands would definitely be about needing to make sure that you're speaking the world that you want to see into existence. So make sure you're using positive words about yourself. Uh, you know, again, if you think something negative, just don't say it. Definitely don't say it out loud and, you know, all that other good stuff. With the strength card, you have the page of pentacles. I do feel like you could be attra attracting a new person in your life. So if you're hoping for love, I do feel this could be new love. Uh, there's clearly news coming in for you here and with the eight of wands and the page of pentacles together. Those two together, you know, would represent like communication or news. But I kind of feel you have this uh, surprise visitor card here. So there could be like some sort of surprise news coming in for you. I actually don't think it's bad. I think that it could be good news or, you know, something. We go like this. Uh, down to the Eight of Pentacles. The Ten, of, you know, personally, I consider the Ten of Swords to be a good card. Um, you know, he's dead. <laughs> and so it kind of says like something in your life is dead, done over with. We go this way to death right here, this way to the Eight of Pentacles. And the Ten of Swords really represents like a blessing in disguise. So 
you know, if something has come to an end or if there was a tower moment, uh, you could be, this kind of thing could say that you're seeing how it's a blessing in disguise. With the sun, you have the 10 of pentacles. I'm telling you right now, this is like not a bad reading. It's like, yeah, that row is kind of sketchy, like I said, but, um, you know, this is definitely not a bad reading. I think your thoughts, it's like you have all the town skills, skills and abilities to create this is what I feel the reading is saying is like you could create heaven on earth, literally. I think that you could create your Ten of Pentacles if you would kind of push past whatever that moon is. And again, we're going to uh, clarify the moon as well. But I kind of feel, like I said, that the moon, it's like something that you know to, how to do. And kind of like me, if you would just get started, I, I think that you would, it, it's like you're making something too complicated in your head is how I see it. You know, you even have this thoughts card here. It's almost like you're, it's almost like you are not, you know, it's, it's almost like you are not being, in your nature is what I feel. You know, there's a saying from Eric Thomas that real lions like to hunt. It's almost like you're not being a lion, like you're not hunting, you're thinking or something. <laughs> and I think that you need to not do that. I think you need to start hunting again, Leo, and you'll probably feel a lot better. And I also feel like not to drag this out any longer, but I do feel it's important. It's almost like I see you in my head, like if I zone out and put myself in your shoes, um, which is how I read in the first place, it's almost like you like I'm not saying you're depressed, but if you're feeling depressed or anything like that, that's anything similar, it's almost like you are saying to yourself, like I feel like you are attributing that feeling to something that it's not. Um, it, you know, it's like you could be saying like, oh, I'm feeling off or whatever. And it's almost like you're saying if I if uh, my money would just improve, then I would feel better. But actually, I think if someone were to drop a billion dollars in your lap, you wouldn't feel better. But what would make you feel better is hunting like a lion and making a billion dollars, right? Like by hunting, by doing your purpose or by living your purpose. And I hope that makes sense. Probably not. But, you know, um, what I would say here is that you know, I think that's the thing that will make you feel better. I hope that makes sense. Now you have a surprise visitor. It says surprises, detours, unplanned events. Um, expect the unexpected. There you go. Now you have the thoughts card. It says reflecting, thinking it through, forward planning. I do think we're in a good time for thinking. I mean, it is Mercury retrograde. That could be why you're in this like thinking mode. But at the same time, I think you need to think of something and then like take a step towards something else. <laughs> you know, I think you need to think about what you like, enjoy doing life and then do it. Like even if you could just do like 1%, uh, just a tiny little taste of something that you love to do would make all the difference in your life. And I feel like that's kind of what these cards are really encouraging here. Uh, you have this, uh, the tower. The tower can, of course, represent a tower moment. I do feel that some of you have experienced a tower moment or it's almost like you're fearing a tower moment. I also feel that you're seeing the smoke. So intuitively, if I put myself in your shoes here again with the tower, it's almost like you are, this tower moment hasn't happened. And I almost feel like this is a tower moment that could be avoided. So like, what the hell am I talking about? If you have a job and you feel like that the business is gonna go under, I feel like this is saying it probably is. So start looking for something else. I think you have plenty of time. Like, you know, there's no rush here. But what I would say is if you think you're seeing smoke, I think there's fire. So, you know, and this could be in any area of your life, but I'm almost getting this as a warning. But again, I, I also like, don't panic, don't freak out. You know, especially, you know, this could be something else as well. It could be like, maybe you feel like you need to move out of your area or maybe you feel like, um, you know, your relationship isn't working out. And I think that you should be honest with yourself about it. Like, I think you should be able to, you know, say to yourself, you know, that things aren't working right now. It's like, should I put the work in and try to fix this? And I think the answer is, number one, you don't want to be out here running around on these streets. Trust me, dating, it's a, an absolute war zone right now, right? So I think if you have a good person who's willing to fix things, if things aren't right, stay with them and keep putting in the work, right? Because again, finding another person is really not going to change every anything, right? It's just another person in a meet suit who's probably going to do the same weird stuff, right? So if you have a person who's put, willing to put in the work, you might as well put in the work. If they're not willing to put in the work, then there's your answer fire, right? Leave, go find something else instead of, you know, wasting a bunch of time on a person that's just going to cause a tower moment in your life. So I kind of feel the tower is like a little bit of a warning in your reading. You have the five of cups here. Five of cups is a card of gratitude and needing to be grateful. I always say that fives have the easiest solutions in the tarot. Uh, he's looking at, he's grieving the loss of his taste for wine, but there's something new behind him, something much better, something that he would enjoy much more. So really the story of the five of cups is that he needs to learn how to get, 
never mind. Five of cups, gone. So uh, really, the story is that he needs to turn around, see this, those two cups in the castle, rant over. You have the uh, six of cups. The six of cups is a card of a turnaround. Uh, it can represent like thinking of someone from the past, in a sense, nostalgia. I, you know, for Leos, I would definitely be careful of getting stuck in nostalgia. I think that Leos are very nostalgic, just in general, and which is not a bad thing at all. But you know, again, I would just be careful of getting stuck in thinking about the past, right? Uh, I also feel that there could be a turnaround coming in for you. Again, I do like the Six of Cups as gift from the universe. To me, the gift we receive from the Six of Cups is a turnaround, meaning we've been bumping up against an obstacle. We get the Six of Cups and we experience some sort of turnaround in our life. So, you know, that's what could be happening here. But uh, let's see. With the Tower, you have the Queen of Swords. It's like you see something clearly here. Like I said, I think that you see a warning clearly. And again, I'm not like tarot shouldn't scare people. I always say this that, you know, I don't think tarot should scare you, shouldn't make you feel bad or anything like that, right? But it's just something I would pay attention to. You know, if you if you see smoke or if you see something, it's almost like you could fix it before anything bad happens. I think that's what the reading is saying is like you could prevent something, um, you know, you could prevent a tower moment here by paying attention, basically. Uh, with the Five of Cups that I threw halfway across the room, you have the Two of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles is kind of like needing more play in your life is what I feel. Two of Pentacles is juggling, spinning plates, doing too much. I think you need to do something nice for yourself here, Leo, especially with the Five of Cups. Again, he's, you know, really it's a card to work hard, play hard. And I really feel it's saying that you're trying to like... It's almost like I get the feeling that you're trying too hard to make things happen. And I, I know that sounds counterintuitive, but if you would just not try, <laughs> I think that's what is going to make things happen in your life, right? With the Six of Cups, you have the Eight of Pentacles. Uh, Eight of Pentacles is material success on the horizon. So whatever you're working on in your life, or whatever you're creating, uh, I do feel like there is a lot of success. Again, we see really good money cards here. You know, it's almost like you're worrying too much about money, which I think is choking your money off. And so I think if you would just stop worrying about it, then uh, you would create a lot more success in your life. I think that things would work out a lot more for you. And, you know, I, I think it would just be smoother in general. Uh, next in the area of what's coming towards you, you have this 12th house card it says introspection. Again, we get this, we get this deep thinking energy uh, right off the front of the reading here with that thoughts card, the tower I was getting thinking, the eight of wands, uh, moon card showing up here as well. So it's like a very introspective deep time for you. You have this midheaven card that says pinnacle on it. I think the midheaven card is, is talking about your purpose and something that you would be really good at. So I think that for a lot of you that you could be exploring your purpose or you need to explore your purpose. Again, I think it's on the other side of the moon. You have the moon, the 10 of swords and the three of swords. I feel like this moon, like I said, is something that you have to push past or you know, push through or something. It's like something, it's popping into my head as something that you know you need to do that you're not doing. And again, I'm not calling you out. I like, trust me, I have like 10 things that I need to do that I don't do. So I'm right, I'm right there with you, right? <laughs> and uh, I think that if you would just do it, it's it's almost like you're overcomplicating something in your head or you're making something much more complicated than it actually is. Um, and if you would do it, I think that you would see that whatever you're thinking about doing is going to be very well received, you know, it, or is going to produce a lot more results than you actually think. So I think that you need to like get to work here. Um, you know, it's like even speaking my Chris Rec channel, right? It's like I have a video on there that has like 100,000 something views where uh, literally I was just talking about um, issue, other issues that I was having with technology. If you haven't noticed, my side camera isn't working because it's gone because I because I broke it. So uh, now we have another camera coming here Tuesday, thank God. But, <laughs> you know, uh, that video was all about the last time that I broke my cameras and uh, had all sorts of issues, right? So it's like, you never know. Like I would just put something out into the world or uh, take a step. It's like the only reason you're hesitating is because you don't know, how, you just haven't done something before. Sometimes I feel the moon is just saying that you just haven't done something yet. And it's like, after you do it, that's where the clarity comes from, which is how life works, right? So, you know, I think there's something that needs to be done in your life. You have the Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords can represent a blessing in disguise. I think that there could be a blessing in disguise coming in for you. I also feel that there could be some sort of blessing coming in for you as well because, uh, again, he's making the symbol right here with his hand. And that symbol is the same symbol that the Hierophant is making on his card, and it just represents a blessing. So it's like, yeah, maybe you've been stabbed in the back, but I do feel there's a blessing here. You have the Three of Swords. 
I do feel like some of you are still healing from a heartbreak or you're healing from a past heartbreaking situation and you're just like working your way through it. Uh, for others, I feel like you're just healing in general and you literally could be getting more healthy in general. So, you know, obviously that would be a good thing. Uh, let's see where this crazy reading is going. This is definitely one of the weirder readings that I've done for you in a while, Leo, but let's see. Uh, with the moon, you have the Eight of Cups. Yeah, walking away from things that no longer serve you. I think that there are beliefs that no longer serve you as well. The other weird thing that I always get for you, Leo, is I feel like there are a lot of examples in your life of like reasons why, you know, it's like reasons why you shouldn't worry. <laughs> it's like if you're worried about money, for example, in your life, I think there might be a person or people in your life that maybe like have a very different, you know, financial life compared to you. And I think that those people are literally put in your life to show you that there's just like another way to live. It's It kind of reminds me of like, I always tell the story of, you know, my grandfather, you know, I used to visit with my grandfather every single week. And, um, you know, since I've had businesses since I was 16 years old, I started my first business when I was 16. And like literally since that time, uh, I would still, you know, I, I pretty much met with him all the time. And he would always ask me like when I was going to get a real job. It's like, since I was probably like, I don't know, like 21 years old, I, I probably made his yearly salary in a month. Right. <laughs> uh, cause that, that's when I had one of my successful businesses when I was younger. And he would still ask me that question. I'm like, I make more money than you've ever made in your entire life. Like, what are you talking about? Right. And so I kind of get that feeling here um with the moon and like the eight of cups is that they're they're like th that you are like my grandfather right it's like i feel like you have this idea of how life works but there might be another person in your life that is showing you that life can be a different way and i'm not saying you're like my grandfather but i'm, I'm making a joke here leo i'm sure someone's going to take that too seriously but um what i would say here is that i think that there could be examples of people in your life that show you that there's like a different or better way to do things. And I would pay attention to those examples. I think those examples are gonna like set you free, right? With the uh, Ten of Swords, you have the Temperance card. Uh, temperance is uh, give and, equal give and take, or no, no, it's not, but that's what's popping into my head. So I think there could be something about equal give and take here. I, I also feel like this could be about turning your situation around. You have the uh, Ten of Swords. The Temperance card can say that you can turn a negative into a positive. Of course, you can also turn a positive into a negative if, if you want uh, with the Temperance card. So make sure you're practicing, you know, positive alchemy. With the Three of Swords, you have the Hangman here. I think Hangman is about setting yourself free. He has sacrificed movement. He sacrificed the use of his arms and his legs to gain enlightenment. And I feel like there could be a lot, you could be gaining enlightenment or there could be a lot of enlightenment coming in for you here. Like, and by enlightenment, I mean a new understanding or new information in your life. And I feel this is like saying, you now you know what steps to take and it's time to take the steps. So the, the, the whole entire reading basically says that. Uh, you have this uh, really good card. It says a win-win outcome is forecast, so love it. Uh, you also have this card, a full moon in cancer. It says a personal issue reaches resolution. Some of you, if you're dealing with something illegal, which I'm pretty sure I said to you last week as well, if I'm not mistaken, or not last week, but the... Um, the, I think I just did the mid-monthly readings, right? I can't remember now, but whatever I just did, um, I think I said the same thing. So if you're dealing with something legal, this could be like a win-win type situation. Uh, this could also be uh, just you know some sort of personal issue, which we see here with the tower reaching a resolution. Uh, you have the death card, the page of wands and the eight of pentacles. Uh, death is like a transformation or a change coming in for you. And so I feel there could be like a big transformation that's happening in your life and there is some sort of change. Something is definitely, it's like, you know, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it, tower, the crown is falling off the top of the tower, death card, the king is dead under the death rider on the uh, death card. So there is definitely some sort of establishment that you are leaving behind at some point. And like I would say over the next, you know, if you haven't already, right? You know, I think that something, and I say this in every single one of your readings, but it literally shows up in every single one of your readings that, um, you know, there could be something that's been established for a long time. Could be your job, could be your business, could be a relationship. And it doesn't necessarily mean you have to completely leave your relationship, like I said, or, you know, leave your job. But there is a transformation happening in one of those areas of your life. And again, it's going to be a good thing. And I think maybe the fear is coming from just not knowing like what to do. I also feel like you need to kind of like do something, hunt, you know, like I said. You have the page of wands, so many reasons for you to be optimistic and enthusiastic about the future. So I really do feel things are going in the right direction. You have the eight of pentacles. Again, material success on the horizon. We see a lot of, you know, you creating more abundance in your life here, Leo. With the death card, you have the three of wands, three of cups, sorry. Uh, three of cups can be like a celebration and it's like celebrating a harvest. So I do feel that you could be celebrating a harvest in the near future. 
With the uh, Page of Wands, you have the Six of Cups. If you want love, by the way, wouldn't really call this a love reading, but if you want it, I do feel it's here. Uh, Page of Pentacles, uh, Ten of Pentacles, best love card in the deck, and Six of Cups here. This to me would represent like a really sweet uh, kind of like soulmate connection. Uh, I personally do not read the Six of Cups as a person from the past, but you know, I do feel there could be a really solid connection coming in here. Uh, with the Eight of Pentacles, you have the Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups could be a card of like happiness, joy, uh, you know, good positive energy coming in for you. So I do feel like there could be just a lot of happiness coming in here. I also feel that there could be a really solid love connection, like I said. Uh, it could be a surprise, you know, with the even with the tower here. Uh, you, this could say that there is like a surprising connection uh, that's coming in for you, something that makes you really happy, something that, it you know, overflows with that card. Uh, you have this domination card here. I actually feel pretty good about this. Again, if you are reinventing yourself in career and work, uh, you know, if, if there is some sort of establishment that is breaking down in your life and you're moving on to something else, again, I think that you could be, you could be dominating the situation. You could be the one that is finding a lot of success. Uh, you have this empathy card. Um, <clears throat> I feel that for some of you, maybe you need a person who can like listen to you or who you can talk to. And so I would like find a person like that. Uh, you have this authority card. Some of you have the opportunity. I mean, I really feel that the universe is encouraging Leo to be an authority. I say this every single one of your readings, basically. Maybe I don't say exactly like this, but I've definitely said to you before, Leo, that I think that you need to take like the past 20 years of information, things that you've learned, um, you know, the experiences you've had, and you need to put that into something, whether it's asking your boss for a raise or promotion and being like, I've been, I've been here for 20 years, dude, and I need a raise or a promotion, or uh, you need to like start your own, be, you know, becoming a consultant. I think some of you could do that. Some of you could be sharing your information online. You know, the list goes on and on. But I think that there's something about you kind of uh, concentrating your juice into one thing, right? And uh, funneling all that information you have in your head and turning it into something, you know, creating something, whatever that means for you. You have this affair card. Uh, this is not like a cheating affair. This is just like love entering into your life. So I do feel there could be a very solid love connection coming in for you with this card. And uh, finally, you have this enthusiasm card. Yes, I think there's a million and a half reasons to, uh, you know, be very happy and, you know, to realize that good things are coming for Leo. Uh, but I would, pay, you know, pay attention to the smoke, right? Like I said, but other than that, I actually feel pretty good about this, but definitely big changes as well. So thank you for being here and definitely enjoy your week.